Hello and welcome to a little bit of van life in the English Lake District. We're staying just outside Pooley Bridge Village, which is just over there. We've got our setup, we're staying in the van. We've got a, a pop-up tent up just for putting a few bits and pieces in. We're here for a week and we're also planning on doing a few bits of water sports. We've got kayaks and paddle boards there because there's a lake. All's water is just over there. One thing that I'm interested in for this trip, this is the first time we're doing a week where we will not have any electric hookup. Even though we're on an official campsite, we couldn't get a pitch with a hookup. So that means for the entire week, we are relying only on the leisure battery on the van. So that's lights, fridge, charging devices, charging camera batteries, drone batteries, all that kind of thing. We've never done it before. So this will be a good little test and <laughs> We got here and I expected it to be on full and it's it's not on full. Here's the control panel and if we just look at what power we have, I thought we'd arrive and it'd go onto full. I mean, the fridge has been running, but we've not been here very long and we're on three quarters and we've got another seven days to go. So it could get quite interesting. If we run out of power, I don't know what we're gonna do because we can't hook up. We will be doing a little bit of driving, so that is gonna put some charge in the battery. We do have a solar panel on the roof, so we'll get a little bit of power trickling in from that. It's gonna be an interesting experiment. So come and join us for a week of van life in the beautiful Lake District, and we'll see how that battery lasts. If I can't charge my AirPods Pro, I won't be happy. Well, it's a very special day today. It's Lily's 10th birthday. So she's deciding what happens today, all day. We've come to one of her favorite spots, Grange in the Lake District, where she likes to do a little bit of paddling in there. And we've had croissants for breakfast and she's currently opening some presents. It's like a, this is your life moment, Lily. Day two, a little bit of sunshine, a little bit of driving, a little bit of charging. Let's see how that battery's doing. Going off that, we're about the same as yesterday. So don't know how accurate that is, but as long as we're not losing charge, that's good. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you, happy birthday dear Lily, happy birthday to you. My little girl, how did you get to 10 years old? How did you do it? I thought that would be impossible. I've been alive for 10 years. You've been alive for 10 years? No. A decade, not a century. Congratulations on your 10th year of life. It's been good. Okay. And I can't wait for the next 10. Okay. Just slow down though. Ha. Okay, time to go in. It's not the warmest of days. Bertie's got his life jacket on. Are you ready, Bertie? Alright, Bert. 
want to go over? He might need you to catch hold of him. Oh no, he's coming over. There Hello. We go. Coming with me? <laughs> So another day of the fridge being on, another day of charging phones and devices. So let's go and see how the leisure battery on the van's doing today. Still three quarters. I'm pretty impressed with that. I'm just hoping that there's not an issue with the gauge and suddenly it leaps from three quarters full to a quarter full. But hopefully that won't happen. <laughs> for a bike ride? Yeah! It's day three and even though we're not in a lake today we still might get a bit wet because we've come to Winlatter Forest and uh, unfortunately it's showering a little hopefully it's not going to rain too hard but we've got the the bikes all ready to go so let's hit the trails. In the woods, it's like Return of the Jedi on the speeders. Ready for some more uphill? No. Lunch first then to get energy. Yeah. A nice view for a lunch stop, but... Oh, the midges. Mm. You getting bitten? Yes. Those midges. Get them. We're eating our lunch and they're having us for lunch. What did you say? The, the midges are eating your eyeballs. Yeah, they have. <laughs> I've got them in my eyes. Good job. Good work. Well on completing the blue. Good job on completing the blue. Good, work. Good job. So it's day three, or is it four? Had a great day biking in the forest, managed to avoid the rain. We've done about an hour's worth of driving, about half an hour to Winlatter Forest, half an hour back. So let's see how the battery is looking. We are still showing at three quarters. So that's good, plenty of juice left. The only thing I've not been charging is camera batteries, drone batteries. I've got multiples of those, so I just made sure that they were all charged before we came away. If I was charging those then obviously that would pull off the leisure battery quite a bit more maybe that's the next test come away for a week and charge up all the drone batteries and the camera batteries and see if this leisure battery can deal with it but so far so good right we've got a meal in the pub tonight so uh no washing up for me Check it, it looks, it's not looking too ridiculous on the camera. <laughs> a little bit of a wet day outside today. So really glad we've got the van to stay dry in. And of course, what do you do? You, you play games. Well, we have had a wonderful afternoon watching Obi-Wan Kenobi while it rains outside, haven't we? I think you've gone out of the shot. <laughs> this is the camera shot you're looking for. So just coming towards the end of a very wet Tuesday, let's do the battery check. Let's see what we've got and it is still showing at three quarters. Another day and still a battery with plenty of juice in it. Happy days. Just thought I'd show you our sleeping setup. We've got the bed made, although Bertie's making good use of it at the moment. And the girls 
are up in their beds currently having hot water bottles made for them. It's all right for some. This is more like it. The rain has cleared up. It's nice and dry today, so we're having a walk through the woods and then we're going on a steamer on Lake Allswater. We've just finished off a really good day with fish and chips. Let's do the battery check. Everyone in bed? <laughs> right, let's have a look. And we are still on three quarters. I mean, we've not driven the van anywhere for the last two days and we've not lost any power out of the battery. The only thing I can think is that it's got a bit from the solar but i can't think it's got that much but then again maybe we haven't really used that much but nearly a full week and it's really encouraging to see that uh, we seem to have plenty of power hi let's go Good morning. So it's our last day in the Lake District today, and I think we've actually got our best day in terms of the weather. The sunshine is beating down, and we're leaving the van behind for this because we're walking up to the top of Scarfell Pike, the highest peak in England, and we're going to camp. We're going to wild camp at a tarn on the way back down. So the next two days are going to be a bit of an adventure. Yeah, sunny day, sunny day, sunny days. No clouds in the sky, but again, away feels like it's been a freaking day. We've got the first sighting of Scarfell Pike. Where is it? There you are. We're almost at the top. I can see it. The summit is just a few meters away. And there's the summit. There is the summit of Scarfell. Almost there. And we made it to the summit. Now I got the key. Rooftop pool, got a heli on speed. Ocean view from the highest peak. I'm complete. Oh, I want this to stay. Please don't go away. Yeah. Sunny day, sunny day, sunny days. No clouds in the sky, but again, away feels like it's been a freaking day. The rain has come. This is how we are ending our week in the Lake District, in a tent in the rain, halfway up a mountain. And I uh, don't think we'd want it any other way, would we? No. No. Nope. Happy to be camping halfway up a mountain? Yep. Yeah. yeah. Okay, it's uh, really raining quite hard now. Are we, are we sure this tent is waterproof? Breakfast is almost ready. Morning oats with raspberry. How's the porridge? 
Not keen on the raspberries. No, it's good. <laughs> good morning. All packed up. I'm ready to do the last little bit. With the wild camp completed, we've packed up the van, put the bikes on the back and we are now driving home after what has been just a week full of adventures. We've loved it. We've made so many memories on this trip. I hope you've enjoyed experiencing our little bit of family van life. If you liked it, give the video a like, subscribe if you want more videos like this. And if you do that, I'll see you in the next one. Thanks for watching. Bye. Bye.